Spain underwent lightning economic growth in the 2000s, increasing its energy demands and therefore its imports. By 2015, it was importing almost two-thirds of its energy. Most of the energy consumed, 73%, is from fossil fuels, oil, gas and coal. The 27% of carbon-free energy comes from nuclear and renewables. North Africa is a major exporter of gas throughout all of Europe. At Almeria, the gigantic Medgas pipeline links Spain to Algeria. 60% of this natural gas is consumed by the Spanish market, while the rest is exported to other European countries. Spain has eight nuclear reactors. In 1984, the government approved a nuclear moratorium. But in 2011, one month before the disaster at Fukushima, the country's decision makers decided to prolong the power plant's activity for an extra decade. The economic context in which the country found itself at that time had forced their hand. Today, to ensure its electricity needs, Spain is multiplying its sharing agreements with its European neighbours, France and Portugal. A land of mountain peaks and wind, with record-breaking sunshine. Spain is considered a pioneer in the field of renewable energy, this sector having grown rapidly over the last 15 years. Wind and solar produce some 35% of the electricity consumed by the country. With more than a thousand wind farms throughout the country, the production of wind power has more than doubled in under 10 years. Spain is now in European second place after Germany. The underpopulated areas of Castilla-La Mancha, Galicia and Castilla y León have acquired unexpected value. A hundred and fifty kilometers northeast of Madrid, Maranchon wind farm stretches over 14 kilometers. Every day, its 104 turbines produce enough energy to power 150,000 households. Spain's annual sunshine is another of the country's assets. The exploitation of solar energy has undergone impressive development, going from a paltry contribution of 30 gigawatt hours in 2002 to 10,000 gigawatt hours in 2012, or annual growth of 80%. Over the last few years, people throughout Andalusia, Navarra and Catalonia who were sick of paying exorbitant electricity bills have been starting to equip their homes and businesses with solar panels. Worried about this trend and the potential loss of earnings, the major electricity companies put pressure on the government to introduce a tax on the self-production of energy. A tax on sunshine. Faced with these political decisions, and to get around this tax, which they considered unfair, in 2010 a group of individuals and a handful of students created Som Energia, We Are Energy, the first Spanish renewable energy cooperative. Nosaltres vam decidir canviar de companyia, d'Endesa a Som Energia, el 2014 va ser. Just quan el govern havia aprovat la llei que aquesta que diu l'impost del sol, i ves que res ho vam fer per convicció, perquè vam pensar que era la manera d'expressar el nostre desacord amb la política energètica del govern central de Madrid. Jo diria que la majoria d'energia que es produeix a Espanya és de les nuclears i fins i tot n'hem de portar de fora. És molt poc racional i congruent. Com hem de portar energia de fora o fer-la d'una font energètica que pot ser molt perillosa quan tenim un sol fantàstic? 
A més a més, també vam trobar Som Energia, que era una empresa transparent, ètica, i que ens assegurava que aquella energia per la qual pagàvem era produïda a partir de fons d'energies renovables. Una de l'escala, l'altra de l'estudi... El projecte en si, que ens ha proposat Som Energia, és claus en mà. D'aquí uns anys ens sortirà molt més a compte. L'energia ens serà més barata de manteniment només de les plaques i, a més a més, tindrem una amortització més ràpida perquè ens beneficiarem d'unes reduccions dels impostos locals. Nosaltres, les factures, quan vam entrar en una energia, el més que pagàvem més era 120 euros al mes. I ara estem a 70 euros al mes. Si som molts, en aquest cas hem sigut 115 famílies que en pocs mesos hem estat d'acord a fer una compra conjunta i que, a més a més, tu quan veus que altres models energètics són possibles... Som Energia ara ha més de 80.000 membres i és constantment creixent. The European Parliament has set a target for renewable energy to account for 32% of the total by the year 2030. In November 2018, the Spanish government went even further by introducing a draft law on global warming that aims to make the country carbon neutral by 2050. At the other end of the country, 60 kilometers from Seville, is another project for producing energy from sunshine. But this is on a totally different scale. Only by flying over the installation can one really get a feel for its size. Gemma Solar is a solar power station which can actually store energy. A world first in the history of renewable energy. With its mirrors, it can produce electricity 270 days a year, which is up to two or three times more than wind power or other renewables. Its secret is the receptor, which can reach a temperature up to 600 degrees. This power station consists of 2,650 mirrors, forming a gigantic mandala over 185 hectares of countryside. Raul Mendoza, in charge of Gemma Solar's energy production, explains how this giant of renewable power works. El proceso de, de producción de Gemma Solar es relativamente sencillo. A través del receptor tenemos un flujo de sales fundidas. A medida que atraviesan el receptor van eh, absorbiendo la, la energía solar que hemos concentrado en el receptor, subiendo su temperatura alcanzan eh, 565 grados de temperatura. Cuando queramos utilizar esa energía, las sales se bombean hasta un sistema de generación de vapor, donde ceden su energía térmica al agua, generando eh, vapor a alta presión y temperatura. Y el vapor a alta presión y temperatura va hasta una turbina, haciendo que la turbina gire, conecta a un generador y produciendo así la energía eléctrica. Podemos almacenar la energía solar y producir incluso durante la noche, de manera que podemos adaptar nuestra producción eléctrica a las curvas de demanda del mercado. Cada aliostato tiene su programa propio, que depende de la situación en la que está colocado en el campo solar, y ese programa le dice cómo se tiene que mover de forma automática a lo largo del año, siguiendo eh, la trayectoria solar, que va cambiando a lo largo de todo el año. Se puede asimilarse a un girasol. Gemma Solar, the jewel in Spain's solar crown, is heralding in a new era of power stations 
with governments around the world taking an interest. Financed in a partnership with Abu Dhabi, it currently supplies 25,000 households with electricity, while avoiding the emission of 30,000 tons of carbon. Right now, Spain is leading the world when it comes to new advances in renewable energy technology.